issue is often not as innocuous as we think it would be and if we palpate it it can not necessarily evoke memory of the original trauma but I believe it's the nerve sensations which are very uncomfortable because it's a, like a, a mishmash of repaired tissue which is never as good as the original. But these, this scar tissue on the skin and through to the muscles and fascia, she can't bear this. Mm. Okay, it's all right. I know you're a very sweet girl, good girl. Um, and often what I do is I just work the scar tissue until it's stretched and there's more blood flow and just reduce the nerve tingling sensations. And so this we can see, it's not just here, when you try and work the ear, or stretch the ear, well earlier on, yeah, it goes much deeper, and yet on the other side, she doesn't mind at all, oh well she does now, <laughs> earlier she didn't, she's just getting irritated by me now. So even with a little bit of manipulation, if you feel that's quite warm now. So palpate first. I can feel in this scar tissue a line of like little rice grains uh, about every few millimetres. So what I do, and we've had the tissue prepped nicely, so I'm just going to, it's quite difficult to pinch it, so pinch it, roll it, stretch it initially, and just trying to get it soft enough to get a grip on it. Oh, so have a pinch, a roll, how are we doing at the front end? Yeah, all right. Good. Now he's going to rest or... So he may be starting to get the memory. I can see now this is quite extensive. It's actually going across the stifle. So that's quite an extensive scar. So I'm just going to work it till it's soft, roll it. And if this was the castration scar, that's what I would be doing with it. So instead of being here, obviously it would be under here. But I would just be trying to roll gently, soften break down some adhesions, good boy, right now it's getting softer, so rolling, and when I get onto these little rice grains that's probably what will feel <coughs> quite unpleasant roll so it's getting softer now I might get it between my two fingers and massage pull it so I'm brave enough to take my hand I'm, I'm keeping my hand here so that when he gets if he feels tense then I can just withdraw, but I'm happy now because can you see how he's uh, let me work this? I'm stretching and holding. Now, if you can imagine, he's now working it slightly. If you can imagine this, I'm pulling this tissue and the effect is likely to be quite deep in this direction and also internally in his into his groin so I can use two hands sort of now 
pulling. Can you see? Good, so I can pinch. Is he going to breathe? Oh, he's holding his breath now, isn't he? So you can hold. Now, what about your normal stretches? If you're at the gym, how long will you hold them for? A few seconds. This is exactly the same. I'm doing local stretching, tissue stretching. So I might roll down this way. So I'm just doing a little mini massage here. So I might stroke it, so hold and do some, oh, that, he felt that. And so I feel like I'm rolling over these grains of rice. So now I'm going to try, what I really want to do is get those little grains in between my fingertips and roll and squeeze. So I want, the purpose of this is to increase the blood supply as much as I can. That's getting warmer, but I'd like it warmer than that. You can visibly see the adhesions. And this scar, it, it's very lumpy there. And it feels waxy, like there's still some discharge. Get, just get onto more of the scar. But most of them and wouldn't roll. be this quiet, would they? Like so if you can get to touch it, you usually can do this. But I am very much reading him. But I need to just stretch along where the incision was, or where I feel the incision was. Stretch along it. So some of them need more than one session. For oh, this one, yeah, yeah. Some of them can get quite cold uh, tissue there, so that suggests that there's reduced blood supply. So I might be wanting to just roll through those little grains of rice. Now what we, know, what we can feel sometimes is the spermatic cord, but on him I can't feel it. So just when I'm palpating for the spermatic cord, I'll just see if that's been um, implicated, yeah, I think I feel it here. It just feels like it will ping through my thumb and finger. I don't know if you can see that, it rolls through. And that can get attached and involved, yeah, with the scar tissue, the so uh, incision, as incision. I'm just putting my hand into this area here, oh, he's just, that's really interesting how he's drawn it up, it's a muscle. Did you see, see you can draw it up. And that's the actual scar there. So I'm just stretching it down. So I might just pull it down and out, down, I can't seem to get a stretch on the skin at all, and again I'm using my thumb to stretch in. Against your middle finger or forefinger or yeah, finger? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting some stretch on it. He's loving it. 
Now I'm getting some stretch. I think she'll give you a really good itch. <laughs> I'm just going to stretch this tissue out around, but I, mu I know I can get this tissue to stretch down a bit more, and I might just go to the side with it. <laughs> 